everyone, it's Laura, and I hope you're all doing well. Today I thought I'd do a different type of video and share with y'all some of the natural cosmetics that I use. And I'm a firm believer that what goes in your body is just as important as what goes on the outside as well. Because whatever you put on the outside of your body is getting absorbed into your body. And so I wanted to share with y'all some products that I found that I really enjoy that are either vegan, vegetarian, organic, um, there's a wide range of products. So I thought I'd share them with y'all and maybe help you out a little bit. So to get started, um, let's start with shampoos. So the first shampoo is by 100% Pure, which I've talked about this brand before. It's the first um, natural organic brand that I ever tried. And this one is Honey and Virgin Coconut Restorative Shampoo and it's to restore dry damaged hair and it's 100% natural and 100% vegetarian. So it has honey in it so it's not vegan. Um, but all of the ingredients are natural and you can actually read them. And the first ingredient is rose flower water. The second one's aloe, then leaf juice, then honey, and um, so you know what you're putting in your hair, which I really like about this. Um, I like this shampoo. The only thing I don't like is the price. This was, I think, about $18 or $20. Um, I just have a little bit left. I have been using it on my dog. It's a shampoo that I found really works for her as well. Um, so I'm actually saving this little bit to use on her when she has baths. Um, but I like this product. Um, it was good. It actually lasted a while for being a smaller bottle. Um, but I liked it, so check it out. The next shampoo that I've tried, which I just recently got this one, and so far I'm really liking it. It's called Avalon Organic Shampoo, and this is the Volumizing Rosemary. And what I really like about it, it was originally, I think, $12, and I got it for 6 And I like it because it's a milder shampoo. It really cleans your hair, but it doesn't leave a residue. It makes your hair feel like it's smooth and silky, and it doesn't make it feel like it has shampoo in it. But it's a thinner shampoo. It's The actual consistency isn't super thick. It does get suds and soapy and stuff like that. Um, but it's a really gentle shampoo, which I really like. Um, it's organic. Um, let's see. The main ingredient is aloe leaf juice, and the next one's water. So um, it doesn't have any parabens, harsh preservatives, synthetic colors or fragrances, um, any sulfates. It's 100% vegetarian and no animal testing, which is good. So along with that shampoo, I got the conditioner. It's a different conditioner. It's the strengthening peppermint conditioner. I really like the smell of peppermint, so I got it. Um, but like the rosemary one, this the first ingredient is aloe leaf juice, and the second one's water. And it's also um, organic, um, no animal testing, 100% vegetarian. Um, and the same goes with the shampoo. This is a lighter conditioner. I found that I have to leave it in my hair longer than I have to leave in other conditioners that I've used in the past, um, but I'm okay with that because it forces me to slow down <laughs> and to enjoy my shower and my bath, um, but I really like it, so check this out. Like the shampoo, this one was about $12 and I got it for 6 It was on sale. So let's talk about what I do when I shave. So I use two products, both from Lush. Um, if you haven't heard of Lush, they're a brand that all their cosmetics are handmade. Um, the majority of them are vegan, so they don't use any animal products. Um, they are really against animal testing, and their products are all natural. Um, and yeah, so the first one is called Dream Wash, and it's a shower smoothie. And it's supposed to be just to, um, you rub it on your skin and it makes your skin smooth. But I've been using it as shaving cream, and I really, really like it. Um, both of these are basically almost gone. And one thing I really like about this product is it has calamine in it, and it's an antiseptic. And so if 
I'm someone who gets dry skin in the winter, so it's really good to rub on my legs and use it as a shaving cream because you can feel it cleaning your legs, if that makes sense. Um, and I really like this. I, I really enjoy it. It's something that I will buy again. It was on the more expensive side. I can't remember how much. Um, I feel like it was maybe like $20. I don't know. Um, but I really like it. It's really awesome. So like I said, I use this to shave. And then after I shave, I use this. It's Rub Rub Rub. And I love this. It's one of my favorite products. And I use it after I shave. And then I also use it on my elbows. And I sometimes get dry patches on like my love handles. And so I'll sometimes use it there. I really, really like this product. Um, the first ingredient is fine sea salt. So that's the scrub, basically. Um, and like the other one, it's handmade. You can actually see this guy was made by Dill, D-I-L, on July 18th, 2013. See, Dill. <laughs> he made this product, which I really like because you can actually put a face to the person that made this. Um, but I really like this product. Again, it's one I'll purchase again once I get over to Lush. Um, and it's a really good product. I recommend it. So yeah. Okay, so next, I've mentioned this before, I mentioned this in my video regarding um, youthful skin, but I use organic virgin coconut oil, and it is unrefined, and um, what I use it for is, I use it to take off my makeup, so I just put a cotton ball in there, and then I just use it to take everything off. Um, at night and I also use it as a face wash at night because like I said my skin gets really dry and so it's a really good moisturizer. I'll also use it on my legs um, when my legs are really dry. It's a really really good product especially if you're someone who has eczema. It really helps especially with your dry patches. Um, and one food for thought is that um, when you buy coconut oil it should smell like coconuts. Um, it shouldn't be unscented or not smell like coconuts um, because then it's been processed too much. Okay, so my next product is my face wash. And I know I just said I use the coconut oil as an, at night as a makeup remover and a face wash and a moisturizer all in one. Um, but this is what I'll use in the morning sometimes. Um, or I'll use it after I work out so that my face feels more clean. Um, but it's also from 100% Pure and it's the Lavender Honey Cleanser for Dehydrated Skin. It's 100% Vegetarian. Um, the first ingredient is organic aloe leaf juice um, and flower water. Um, it's really gentle, but it really makes your skin feel clean, um, which is really good, especially if you have dry or sensitive skin. And I've had this, I know I don't use this um, daily all the time, but I've had it, I guess, I got this before I moved into this apartment. So I've had it since before June, and it still has that much left in it. Um, so I like it, it's a good product. Um, I don't use it daily, but I do use it a lot, so check this out. So, my last product, I haven't gotten to the point of having my makeup, um, my eyeshadow, all that, having that be all natural um, because I'm having trouble finding products that are good products that are organic and natural and things like that. Um, but I have found one product that I like and it's also from 100% Pure and it's um, the mascara and it's made from blackberries and black tea um, and it's really pigmented. Um, you do have to, it actually smells like blackberries, um, you do have to curl your eyelashes before. Um, it's not going to lengthen your eyelashes, it'll just make them look fuller. And so I do curl my eyelashes before and then use this. Um, but yeah, this is the only makeup product I've found that I like in regards to the vegan, vegetarian makeup world. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know because I, feel, I find that a lot of the products I've tried have been, haven't been really pigmented or don't stay on or they um, are really thin. 
Like I bought a concealer and it was too thin and it didn't stay on and it didn't cover up. Um, so yeah, this is the only product I found so far. I will keep you updated. And again, if y'all have any suggestions, feel free to comment and leave them down below. So those are the products I've been using and I've really enjoyed. And if you have any questions regarding nutrition, I'm here for y'all. Also check out my website and my other videos. And please subscribe. And I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye.